but since uh, actually the early hours of this morning, uh, no gunshots have been heard. And uh, the main operation during the night were actually in my saloon area. And the uh, Syrian army have already declared this area to be safe since uh, almost the dawn of this uh, of today. Uh, airport International, uh, hi, uh, the, uh, hi, uh, the highway of the uh, Aleppo International Airport is already declared to be safe. It's worth mentioning that to Aleppo you have two main roads and actually uh, one of them is declared to be safe and the Syrian operation right now is uh, in the second one. Uh, the main uh, clashes and breaking clashes took place earlier in rural of Aleppo in Anadan area and Mambij area. Those both uh, uh, villages uh, are the main uh, support lines from the Turkish border to Aleppo uh, witnessed uh, very heavy clashes due, uh, with uh, uh, Syrian army and armed groups inside those both uh, two areas. Uh, other than that, all uh, the city is witnessing a first aid uh, today uh, declared to be uh, in Syria and uh, markets are all open and uh, uh, people, traffic is very normal inside the city. Maya, reports are also coming in from the Syrian border with Lebanon, where armed men have been apprehended in the area. Tell us more about these uh, armed people fighting against the army. Well, uh, see, uh, the main, the main uh, problem right now in Syria is not Syrian who is fighting against the army. The main problem is those who have actually been imported to Syria in order to fight against the army. In, in Aleppo, for example, uh, we have seen and we have already shown uh, Turkish fighters, uh, Saudi fighters, and we have already been proven that there are uh, Sudanese, Somalis, and from Chechnya. Uh, this is uh, the case uh, when, when the Syrian army has managed successfully to close them where the borders, uh, northern city of Aleppo, uh, with Turkish border, uh, we are witnessing now another smuggling trial coming from uh, southern, uh, uh, from actually the west borders to Syria, from, uh, from Lebanon, and again to, to try to uh, smuggle uh, those fighters into Syria. Those fighters mainly are, uh, we cannot describe them as, uh, only as jihadists. They, they came here and tensioning and declaring jihadists, and they mainly are from Al-Qaeda. Uh, the Turkish fighter found in Aleppo, in Sayyid Dawli, for example, a few days ago, turned out to be the brother of Al-Qaeda member who actually bought the HSBC bank in Istanbul back in 2003. It's believed that Turkey and the bordering states of, this, of Syria are actually supporting and facilitating the, the uh, uh, possibility to smuggle those fighters into Syria in order to fight Syrian army and Syrian people as the Syrian say and describe the situation. Ryan announcer, Press TV's correspondent from the uh, city of Aleppo in Syria. Many thanks for the update, Maya. While well, Western intelligence services are reportedly helping insurgents fighting the Syrian government, British Daily, the Sunday Times, says UK intelligence on Syrian troop movements is helping the insurgents launch their attacks. It says the intelligence is provided by British spies based in Cyprus. German spies stationed off the Syrian coast are also aiding the anti-government militants. The agents of Germany's foreign intelligence service, BND, employ a technology that allows them to observe troop movements 600 kilometers inside Syria. The paper says the German spies pass their findings on to U.S. and British officers who then give the information to the insurgents. Elsewhere, tensions rising in the East China Sea as a territorial dispute.